Hi again, YouTubers. So today we are sitting down to do a quick gift guide for everyone that you might have to purchase for. So if you are new to my channel, I would love if you went down below and clicked that little red subscribe button. So this week, instead of a Tip Tuesday, I decided to do a holiday gift guide. So we're gonna jump right into it, guys. I am going to start with five items for each of these different categories. And the first one I'm gonna start with is for men. And one of the ideas that I'm going to give you that I'm gonna start with is something called a chukka boot. Now these boots came out I am trying to think when, I wanna say it was a year or two ago, Marty got a pair, loved them, but they're one of those items that I think a lot of guys don't think to buy for themselves, which is a nice pair of shoes, but also a pair of shoes that they could wear anytime, anywhere. It is just super cool looking. I will try to insert photos in here for you guys as well so you can see all of these items. And it's just, they're really comfortable. Marty says all the time how comfortable they are. And I personally love the look of them on a guy. So no matter what your age, I feel like this is a boot that really could be pulled off. The next item I'm gonna talk about is a coat or a vest, and you could go either way. For a coat, I would suggest a Patagonia coat. The puffer jackets are awesome. They're super comfortable, they're lightweight, but they keep you super warm. I have two, MJ has one, Marty has one. They are perfect no matter what the weather. If it's not too chilly out, you can wear it and just wear it open. When it gets cool out or in, your, in a colder climate, you can zip it up, you can wear a scarf with it. They are incredibly warm and comfortable. But then there's also these vests. Now Patagonia has vests, but there's a new vest that Marty is looking at this year and he has asked for it for Christmas and it's by Canada Goose. Now they are on the pricey side, but these vests are super awesome. They have coats too, but the vests are just amazing and come in a whole bunch of different colors. So it's a really great option depending on where you live and what your style is, either a coat or a vest. Now cologne is something that you can always choose for someone. That one I feel like is a little bit overdone. Everybody does that, but colognes are all gonna be subjective to what the person that is gonna be wearing it or smelling it likes. Another option is a great little pair of, they are slippers, but they're also shoes that you can wear outside and they're by Ugg and Marty got a pair last year and they are just that shoe that is super comfortable for a guy. You can wear them with socks, you can wear them without socks. You can throw them on to wear around the house or you can wear them out and they just have a nice casual look. They have a rubber bottom that are made to be worn outside as well, but they're just a really great easy shoe and it's one of those things that no guys tend to think of to buy for themselves, but when they get them, they really love them. The last item I'm gonna talk about is actually called, they're by Apple and they are earbuds and they're actually called the AirPods, I believe is the actual name and funny story about this. Marty actually bought them for me last year. He had gotten a pair and he bought them for me for Christmas. And when I got them, I was like, mm, yay. I kid you not, I'm obsessed with them. And if anything ever happened where I lost one, I would buy them again. They are the best idea, guys. It's so simple. It has a little case. You, the case actually charges them. They can sync to anything Bluetooth. I am obsessed with these and they are a great little tech gift for guys that they wouldn't think to purchase. The next thing I'm gonna jump onto is for kids. And the first thing I would suggest, and I'm gonna suggest some things that are kind of buying them for you and sometimes some of the things for the kids. And the first thing is a coat, a Patagonia coat, the Nano Puff Jacket, MJ has one of these. We love them. They're nice, warm coats without the kid having to be like a super bulky coat that they can't put their arms down. You know, you picture the Christmas story in. But that is a great option. Another great option is a pair of hunter boots. Every two years, yes, you heard me correctly, I buy MJ a pair of hunter boots. And I actually size up, not just to the size he's wearing, but one above it. And the first year I just have him wear them with super thick socks. And then the second year they fit perfectly. That way I can get more use out of that more expensive type of rain boot or snow boot. The next thing I'm gonna talk about can be used for boy or girl and can range for a lot of age ranges. And it is a Nintendo Switch. It is fun for everyone. You can use it on your TV. You can use it just as a handheld game console. It was really big last year and we got one for MJ last year, but it seems like it's still going strong this year. And it's a great option. You can use it in the car. The kids can take it and play it together on a TV. Just a really, really great option. Now I'm gonna give you one little option, one for a boy, one for a girl. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is for a boy because I have a boy and it is called the Treasure X. And both of these items are under the $10 mark. So it's super easy to pick up. You can buy them on Amazon. 
And it's just this new thing. I don't even understand it, to be honest, but it is the new thing for boys right now. They want treasure X adventure things, and it's under the $10 mark. And an option for the girl is this pick me pop, and it's called like a flip. It actually flips inside out under the $10 mark, but it is all the rage right now. Even MJ's like, oh, I want one of those. He loves squishy guys. He's still at that stage. Next, we're gonna move into home, and a few things I'm gonna mention for the home. The first thing is a makeup mirror. I will be posting this one. I have this one at my Cape Cod house. I love it. It is under the $60 mark. It has the zoom part. It has the light. It has everything. It is a great option to have in your home. Guys can use it. Girls can use it. It is a really, really great mirror. Next thing I'm going to talk about is a blanket or throw and the barefoot dreams ones, guys. We have two at this house and two at the other house, and they are amazing. They wash well, they're super soft, they're cuddly, they're cozy, and I will tell you, I buy mine at Nordstrom Rack because they are under the $50 mark versus in the $70 or $80 mark if you buy them at Nordstrom. So I will link Nordstrom Rack down below with that. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is a suitcase. A suitcase is a great home option for guys, girls, grandparents, anyone you can think of. We personally love the Toomey ones. They are an investment piece, but I will link my favorite Toomey piece down below. I love Toomey stuff, and at first I was like, there is no reason to pay the difference in that. Now that I have them, I love them, and all of our suitcases are slowly going over to Toomey. They are a great investment and a great gift idea. And next, if you need a little inexpensive gift, but it's super fun and different, there is this mug called the Vilroy and Bosch, I think, and it's the Wave Handle Mug. It is so cute, so cool looking. It is a great party gift if you just need something to give someone if you're going to their house. It's just different and it's super fun. So that's a really great option. And the next home option I'm going to mention to you guys is copper pans. When I first bought one, I don't remember where I got it, but I was like, it's just a pan. I love these pans, guys. They are nonstick. You don't have to spray anything on them. I use them every single morning for eggs. They're amazing. Another option is a cast iron skillet. So that's a really great, like someone who cooks type of option is a cast iron skillet if they don't already own one. Um, so I do know that that was six items in the home, but we'll keep going. Now let's go on to beauty. Some of the top beauty items that I will suggest to you guys to pick up for your loved one, for yourself, for a family member, for a mom, for a sister, whatever it might be. The first item is going to be Lime Life products, guys. I kid you not, they're game changing. You've heard me talk about them forever. I am obsessed with them and it is pretty much all I wear anymore. And actually they have a set that I just purchased, but it's called the teen set. And the teen set is not necessarily for a team, but it comes with a foundation, a con two concealers, a setting powder or blush or bronzer of your choice. And then it also comes with a lip gloss and I feel like maybe one other thing, um, but I'll post a photo here for you guys too. It is a great starter option with Lime Life and it's a great gift idea. Next thing I'm gonna talk about are some kind of like, I guess hair items and it is investment pieces, but they're great gifts and it is the T3 dryer. Now there's also a Dyson dryer. I tried it once, I prefer my T3, but T3 dryers are hands down my all time favorite and it's just one of those things that you don't think to buy for yourself, but it's a great gift idea for someone. Now on that same line, I would suggest the T3 curling irons. Guys, they are amazing. They don't burn your hair. They're just leave a shine to your hair. I didn't use one today, my hair is straight, but they are game changing as far as how they curl my hair and how the curl stays. It's a great, great thing to ask for on your list because it is on the pricey side. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk about since we're talking about hair care is Monate Hair Care. You guys know I love it, I sell it. There is a link below to my site, but ask me any questions you have about it. My hair has never looked better, never. It is so amazing. It will change your hair. Again, another pricey item that's good to ask for for Christmas or to give for someone that you know really needs to change their hair and get their hair healthier. Then the last thing I'm gonna talk about is a random item is by Michael Todd and it is their at home like dermaplaning. And guys, I love this thing and I should probably do a whole review about it. If you wanna see a whole review, let me know down below. 
but I love this thing, guys. It is amazing, and it is one of those items that will change your makeup application. So it's something you, that you probably don't want to spend the money yourself on, but overall, I kid you not, it is a great, great, great thing. And I actually think in my skincare video, I'll try and post a link down below if I do talk about it. I believe in my last skincare video, like my nighttime skincare, it is amazing, guys. I just really love using it. It has changed the way my makeup applies and the way my skincare applies as well. So really, really awesome. Dermaplaning is just the new thing and I love it. Now let's jump on to the last part, which is fashion. Some of the things I will suggest are a pair of Spanx faux leather leggings. Guys, we already know I have a whole video on five ways to wear faux leather leggings. I love them. They are the most comfortable thing. There is a pair hanging right back here and actually a velvet pair and a skirt because that's how much I love Spanx leggings and that stuff. They are just hands down the best. So it's a great item to ask for somebody or to purchase for somebody. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is something that you can purchase to wear with those leggings or with the skirt or whatever you might wanna be wearing. And it is a pair of over the knee boots, guys. Over the knee boots have been in style for quite some years now. I wanna say it's been three or four years now and they don't look like they're going anywhere. You can buy them in black and tan, whichever color you prefer. I will do a video soon on like ways to style over the knee boots because that was requested. Um, if you want to see that, put a comment down below because I definitely am going to put it on my list. I just need to figure out where it needs to fall as to how important you guys think that is to do. So a great pair of over the knee boots is a great thing to get as a gift and it's just a great thing to have on your gift list. And if you don't like over the knee boots, I will say a good pair of booties and I will link one of my favorite pairs of just basic inexpensive booties down below. I have had them for three years. Every year I wear them, they are just comfortable, not too high of a heel and a great booty. Now the next thing I'm gonna talk about is a sweater or a cardigan, barefoot dreams. We already talked about the throws and the blankets. Now let's talk about the cardigans. They have the most comfy cardigans. It's kind of like the Ugg slippers I was talking about for the guys because you can wear them to sleep, to lounge around the house, or you can wear them out. And it is just so warm and so cozy and it just feels so good on. They are pricier, so that's why it's a really great option to ask for for a holiday gift. So that is everything. I will, under each category as well, link my favorite gift cards. Gift cards are always a great option and people love to get them because they can actually pick out things on their own as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and if you have any questions, please put them down below. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.